comes through whether you're into astrology or not doesn't really matter and you don't need to know where your full moon is or what house your rising sign is well it's useful but it's not it's not essential the thing is to be aware and to tap into it and use that energy practically because that's what that's what i'm all about it's great knowing all this stuff but if it doesn't change your life mm, you know it's just clutter so let's look at the full moon with the full moon it's normally about cleansing letting go detoxing things have come to full uh, full cycle things have come to fruition things have come to the full stop so a full moon is almost like the project has got to here if you were doing stuff in the house you this is the full moon is the time it comes to a head now whether that head is a project completion whether you're halfway through and it's time maybe to review and look at things or it's a time for detoxing letting go a lot of the time i do a lot of clearance i do clearance all the time but clearance letting go and that's what if i look a bit bare <laughs> i'm decorating i've literally i've got and i might sound different as well today but i'm using this time to clear out i had an issue with mold so i'm sorting that out and i'm literally going to paint and put in different furniture and stuff so that is i'm detoxing i'm clearing i'm moving forward so that's on a physical level with what's the, the actual environment i'm in but also with regard to my business see what's happening with my email um some some of the products you know we're rejigging things i'm changing some of the what's available i'm bringing more in so it's change it's letting go it's moving on so you can be very practical with the strategy and also if you look at it for women women work with cycles all the time and a lot of women actually if you're not aware of it you can your periods can coincide with the full moon a lot of people who are if you're not on obviously if you're not on uh, the pill or anything like that which is dreadful for your gut by the way but you, women will naturally move in cycles if if they're in tune and looking after their bodies you'll find you'll move in cycles with the moon as well so what i wanted to talk to you about was the um the how astrology and how well-being how it connects and how you can make sense of it because um it's actually really interesting there's a lot of inflammation coming up right a lot and i actually did the session last week on inflammation and i've got a few um con people contacted me about it yeah so let me tie this together for you so you can understand what this is at right the full moon is in capricorn right capricorn is the ram do you know the one with the antler not the, are the antlers horns right so they're kind of feisty at the best of time and they do when they when they have their arguments they kind of clash right so it's things coming to a head so when you have a full moon with things coming to a head and you've got capricorn with things coming to a head you can tell where this is going <laughs> a lot of stuff is going to come to a head for you so this is a week where there's a great there's a great um expression the the yasmin boland she's she's a lovely lady but yasmin said it's a this this full moon is a pot stirred okay it's a great expression it's a pot stirred so can you see and also pluto is in the mix as well and pluto is um kind of explosive explosive argumentative energy so you've got capricorn with things clashing and you've got pluto and you've got the full moon so you may look out so what it is is with things coming to a head it's the stuff that's been bubbling away the stuff you're trying to ignore um is is basically going to show itself up it's going to be more annoying so from a health point of view from inflammation say you've got uh, inflammation you have a niggle you have a symptom like a rash an itch um you've got a uh, soreness in your belly um you're producing mucus if there is something going on that you've been trying to ignore it will probably have an exacerbation right now this week the full moon energy by the way the full moon is today but it runs for about three days afterwards 
so if there's anything you're trying to ignore or hope if you're hoping something is going to go away it's actually going to get worse for the next few days and that's where this is your opportunity so rather than going oh god and go into hiding what you do is right what can i do about this and if it is inflammation see you take your um your the sun say the sun milk or the moon milk for example the moon milk oh my god so you take the moon milk so it helps to calm things down but it also heals the turmeric heals the inflammation and the moon the 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 ashwagandha and the stuff that it just calms the whole thing down the blue lotus it calms the whole gut down so you're, you're dealing with the situation you're calming it down you're bringing in healing okay it'll also help clear mucus uh, it, this is uh, definitely drink water definitely drink your water because you have to flush out it's full moon it's clearance now in the next few days especially lots of water clear out this is not the time to drink a load of alcohol um, it is not the time to be excessive with processed foods overeating eating out even eating at home and overeating these if you it's not going to have much mercy in fairness if you are you're just going to be more sensitive it the moon amplifies okay a full moon will amplify and this is a super full moon in capricorn so it's like they're putting a magnifying glass so stuff you might have got away with a week or two or three weeks ago you're not so if you normally have problems with bloating if you do anything that you know you're sensitive to the response is going to be amplified and you're going to feel worse so the health advice i mean it's just it just makes sense it's very practical really it's very normal so you the advice is be aware don't do stuff that you know are, is going to exacerbate a situation unless it's something you want to deal with now i am a great believer in dealing with stuff and um, i i do think um if something shows up deal with it like i was saying at the essential soul healing group and i was just saying this morning um i i'm finding uh, there's different things coming up that need dealing with like my email like the different things as soon as i work on the solution you know as soon as I, I i acknowledge it and i want to change this or i want to find the solution it's happening it's easy and i move on to the next so i'm actually using this as an opportunity to clear a load of stuff like everything so i'm always i'm a little bit high with it it's almost like okay there's a problem let me sort it there's another problem i have three days to sort out all the rubbish so that's what i'm doing i am sorting everything that comes up think about that in relation to your health what in relation to your health do you need to sort out so is it inflammation is it constipation is it bloating what is it is it your sleep is it your hormones you're going to be super sensitive at the minute is it your hormones do you need to detox like full moons are a perfect time to detox like why wouldn't you use all of that energy you know to your benefit like women are good at this like so you detox on the full moon you start new plans on the new moon so when you're coming up to the new moon you that would be a great time to make changes to your that's on the 28th so it would be a great time to make changes to your diet it would be a great time to to introduce something new to start a new health habit full moon is when you cleanse you clear so full moon this would be the day this around this this week will be a week for a detox you could take your zendocrine you could take your gx assist um i'm actually getting a new one paratrex it's a parasite cleanse it's super strong um so we'll get that in for the next full moon um so you'd be taking all those things the inf the, the anti-inflammatories to you know to deal with it to calm it down to get rid of the stuff and deal with the problem so this is the week to clear to deal with stuff it you know the capricorn energy is kind of feisty so if you're kind of having a row with somebody if you're annoyed with a person if communication is an issue diplomacy is key unless of course you want to bring it to a head deal with it but be aware you've been warned 
it could go and stuff can just explode on you this week um and i that's uh, like i say like the email i i was i was having a meltdown yesterday i was so upset because i had i have so so much content and value and contact numbers and logins i have i have like i've been in business since 2006 2005 actually i registered my business 2005 and all of that is on the one email <laughs> and i thought it was completely gone i thought i had lost everything yesterday um but it came back so um it does it is it flipped a switch in my brain anyway as to what i value and the whole clearing out the detoxing and I, i'm doing a digital sort of detox this week now just all housekeeping it's all housekeeping so apply it to your health on a physical level your body apply it to your emotions uh, digitally at work or whatever you can apply it that way and your thoughts the thing is what you think and what you feel at some stage will become physical whether it's through an action you take or through food you eat or behaviors you have or you know even if it's not sleeping if it's uh, you know at some point thoughts and emotions become a physical thing they calcify and become um, a physical thing and that can be a good thing in that you create a new body which is absolutely possible um but also if you have a physical problem now I, I know people would be sensitive to this so i'm going to just if you have a physical problem like i have i have hip pain i'll use me as an example i have this ache a constant in my left hip and it started when i started running marathons and i it was a little bit i had it for, i've had it for years there has to be an emotional or mental underpinning with that now i'm slowly working it out but it was created because of a thought process or an emotion i had at the time so what that is i'm not exactly sure i'm i'm working on it um every issue in your body if you look up the pain body google it and see um where emotions are held in the body or where what pain means in the different parts of your body so a hip is something your back is something your shoulders i know what a lot of them mean but i'm just saying you google for yourself because when you do it that way and you become the seeker you you find what you 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 will find what you need you, you get a better result for this sort of thing i would prefer you guys do it rather than me tell you and i'm, I'm not it's just i know it'll work better that way so everything, every thought, every emotion affects you on a physical level at some stage. Because obviously, I mean, even down to a basic thing, like it affects your posture. And that can affect your alignment of your spine. It can affect your, your hips and your knees and all the different things that go on in our body. So if you think about your emotions and your eating habits, that affects your gut. Honestly, if you think about your thought processes around food, what's healthy, what's not, it becomes it becomes a physical symptom. So obviously, if you have physical symptoms, if you think, okay, I work backwards, reverse engineering, I have constipation. What is behind this? What what do I need to shift to make this happen? Now, obviously, on the full moon. Do your detoxes, do your cleansing, do your washer, your body brushing, your Epsom salts, go for a walk, go for a swim, anything you can do, right? Cleansing. Then look at your thought process around and think, okay, what do I need to let go of? What do I need to remember full moon? What do I need to let go of to help my digestion? What do I need to stop doing or do differently? Because your new moon is a new habit. Think of it that way new moon you have it full moon cleanse so your full moon you have to look and review your health as it is and think okay how is it okay acknowledge what has worked what you've done well with and then think what can i do differently what needs to be improved where does the tweak need to happen what is the next step and this is the week to do it 
and you can test that out and try it out review it you get up to your new moon and that'll be the time to bring in a new step you go to your new moon and then you you work on or the focus is on the new thing that you're bringing in even if it's to drink water every day even if it's you know whatever steps with when you when you eat your breakfast or what you're eating for breakfast or how you do your shopping it doesn't matter you do that and then when you come to the full moon you think about it again and think okay what worked that's great i'll keep that what didn't i'll let that go and review it's a very simple easy way of working i've been doing it for ages um and the essential soul healing group the group we have the private group is um what we've been doing it since january of last year so 18 months 19 months now so the astrology the energy it can be used in any aspect of your life but i wanted to bring it into health today because it's the full moon today and it'll be it'll be an opportunity missed okay so um we're looking at capricorn things coming to a head if you think the the the, the clashing of horns okay um so it's tense if you're already in a difficult situation be diplomatic take your time and that transfers into your health if you're already experiencing symptoms don't push the boat out because you'll pay for it it's going to come back and bite you um things will come to a head stuff that you've been trying to ignore will come up so if symptoms you've been trying to ignore um they they will just persist and they'll be more obvious looking for attention and the thing is when stuff comes up for attention if you think of it like a child if it was a child trying to get your attention you would answer the child okay think about yourself when your body asks you for attention respond to it look after it if your body says i'm have a pain here i'm not well i i need you to do something for me <laughs> do it it's your body that's you know honestly you know it's the same with your gut your body see it's not wrong to have symptoms your body is doing its best but if your gut is bloated it's your body saying i hear now can you do something for me this isn't working yeah so work work, work with it honestly so this is the time i'm just checking i've given you everything on my notes um things will be stirred up you're going to be more aware and what shows up the most what's amplified is what you need to work on because honest to god sometimes you could look around and say well now i have about 50 different things that i could do what do i do so just sit tight for a minute and think what is amplified what is showing up most and that's what you do yeah you take the you take the one that's that's giving you the greatest grief really okay i'm just checking this there's, there's nobody here um in case there's any comments and stuff i don't want to be ignoring you um if things are hunky-dory if things are really good and you're happy and you don't have any issues then some i guess some people might be like that i don't really believe anybody doesn't but there you go if you feel that you are uh, or you're putting stuff off like just because it's a full moon doesn't mean you have to if you've been hiding or ignoring something and you're hoping it'll go away if you want to leave it for another month until the next full moon that choice is yours there's no pressure on you it's not going to get any better <laughs> but if you're not ready to tackle it you're human leave it to the next leave it to the next one like there's no pressure on anybody um but i wanted to say to you um if you're not ready to go there in all seriousness what are the small steps you can take right now so even if it's from a toxin point of view and you don't want you're not ready to go into say you don't want to start taking term the golden sun milk or you don't want to go into the oxy powder cleanse or whatever okay so what can you do you can drink water look at the toxins in your home okay so start seeing if it's an infl inflammation problem what what is in your home that could cause inflammation i mean look at your washing powder does that irritate your body irritate your skin does i know i get eczema if i get sometimes if i use um, a different washing powder my eczema flares up in my hands i can't actually touch the washing powder so things like that um if you do if you're working in the kitchen wear gloves protect your skin don't absorb that stuff be very careful if you're dealing with cleaning products like like um bleach i had a a thing i was making up there for for mold that 
be careful see what's in the home and what needs to like reduce the amount of toxins in your home because you're inhaling all of this stuff and it's going on your skin and they contribute to your inflammation when it comes to fruit say you're eating oranges or apples or pears or what have you you want to wash that skin yeah you want to wash the stuff off because there could be pesticides or chemicals or god knows anybody handling that food in the shop you need to wash your food before you eat it because this, what's on the food could be causing inflammation yeah like even with peppers you get that waxiness on pepper on um, the skin like all of these things are made to look make the fruits and vegetables look better but you've got to be careful that it's not actually causing you harm so there are things you can do to detox uh, like I said, the Epsom salts, clean air. Just make sure, open all the windows. Every morning we get up, we open the open the windows and just clean the air out. I use sage, I burn a little bit of sage and I also have lemongrass. Um, and I use a lot of plants that, that release oxygen as well. So um, there's small steps you can do. So that's an easy thing. It's non-confrontational, it's an easy thing to do. And just be aware of your cleaning products, be aware of your bathroom products, be aware of what you're putting on your skin. Um, okay what else do we have here yeah clutter just get rid of clutter Um. also if you were bringing that to a food um situation go through your cupboards okay declutter any of you who have my reset your food lifestyle that um short course it's brilliant by the way it's really handy like you know probably a load of it but it's a really good reminder so if you want to reset if you use this opportunity for reset your food lifestyle um go through the cupboards take all the cup the things out get rid of anything that's out of date anything that looks a bit funky get rid of it um wipe down the shelves make sure there's no debris no food you know just be careful be clean and even like a little bit of lemon or something just it's natural solutions vinegar is really good for cleaning just clean out the cupboards see what's there can the whole thing down look at the fridge anything there because just be aware it's it's good hygiene in relation to your, your gut yeah uh, and i mean not as in when i say hygiene I, it's not got to do with uh, it's, it's more emotional and mental hygiene as in good thoughts mindset focus uh, that's where i'm going with that so it's to wipe the whole thing down fresh clean and then you will naturally when you do that when you're in that sort of a zone what you're putting into your body will be a whole lot better as well yeah it'll be clean it'll be fresh yeah do you get me so you can make you can make health and energy so easy so much easier on you um it doesn't have to be a burden it doesn't have to be a pain it doesn't you know we we all have things we need to work on it's not a big deal so I hope that makes sense. I just wanted, because it was the full moon, I thought it'd be a big mess if I didn't actually talk to you about it. Um, so the full moon's in Capricorn. Let me know how you get on. Does it make sense? It should make sense. If you're anyway in tune, it should make sense. Um, so this week is detoxing, it's cleansing. If you have oxy powder, take your oxy powder. Have an Epsom salt bath. Get things moving um body brushing all the good stuff um and just release it's like even like I, i'll give you a quick example before i go i had um i mean the last couple of days now me i was it was so stressful and i was trying to go with it you know i was trying to be all um zen but it was it was it was touch and go there at times um but what i did last night then i did kayaking last night i went out on the water uh out in the canyon and I kayaked for a couple of hours. That was fabulous. It's just the calm because you can, you can look. It was so. It was like glass. The water was just perfectly still. There was no. There was barely a breeze. There was no movement, and it really slowed things down. So for me, like I was just feeling fantastic. Like after that, and then I wake up this morning, grand. Off we go. So it does make sense it's important to pay attention stay in tune stay in touch because women are brilliant at this you know just give yourself a chance and if you're doing some of it already do more that's my advice okay now i am going to sign off i don't see any comments and that's absolutely fine now because I, I know this time doesn't suit everybody but it suits me 
over the summer i may need to shift this over to the evening time because the, the schools are out and there's an awful lot more going on um and again it's just mad and i'm the 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 button here for stopping the video isn't isn't showing so it's mad it's like everything is coming to a head there's a lot of things that need sorting um it's interesting that's all I can say. So I'm basically going to shut down Facebook and the video will stop. But it's interesting how these things, so if stuff like this is happening to you, if things are very glitchy, if there's stuff happening, just think, okay, this is a letting go. Maybe it's me letting go of control. Maybe it's, I need to do things differently with the, the lives. I don't know. There is something in it. Maybe we need to do Zooms. There's a the question yeah so we you know it's just work through your stuff okay guys uh, i'm gonna love you and leave you enjoy the sun it's fabulous and um do something for yourselves do something for yourself okay